Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this uh, white Coco uh, 29 watt solar panel charger with dual USB ports. That's the box which you get. Uh, it doesn't say a lot on the box. It's cover more outdoor for road, home office, travel, power, solar. There's a here a detail, I mean detail description, just a number, a little bit more information, but not much, not specs, not nothing. Uh, yeah, the problem is it came in a bubble envelope. So yeah, it is a little bit prone to damage. Luckily there was not too much damage, but there's a little bit here, but it looks like it was not damaged uh, inside. So what they have to work on the packaging, I mean not the packaging from the manufacturer, but Amazon packaging, they cannot send something which is so expensive just with a bubble envelope and it's heavy, I mean. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of pain, but uh, it's a different topic. So. Uh, here is what you get inside. I mean, there's a little bit of description, not so much product specification. Hope you can read that if you're interested into that. What I've already find out, found out that this is a little bit different to the listing and also different to what the panel actually says. So it's a little bit weird. But uh, here also some information. There's not much, there's no real manual or something like that. It's just this card for $69. Yeah, you probably a little bit expect a little bit more here. I don't know if they have their website, a little bit of support, warranty, three months or so. Yeah, so the Amazon listing, yeah, $69. It has pretty good reviews. So I thought I'd give it a try. Here is how it looks. I mean, yeah, make it a little bit bigger so you can see that. Hope it's focusing. So you can see that here. Uh, this is how it looks uh, when it's folded. Uh, you can definitely put it like in your backpack. Or, I mean, of course, it's intended to use outside to charge. But if you are not using that, uh, you can put it somewhere just really nicely foldable. Not just once, but you can always uh, just put it back like this. Here we open that. Here we have these buttons here. So we open that uh, four panels. You can see as the outside and then we have these four panels here and we have hooks here on this side. We also have some kind of hooks here so you can uh, put it so or so you can attach it from uh, either side no problem with that on the other side uh, it's made with nice uh, fabrics like uh, yeah it's almost like jeans or it's really some kind of stylish on the right side we have these straps here where we can easily put a power bank and secure it so even a larger one here i have one I think that's 13,000, yeah, 11,000 milliamps. You can see fits easily. You can even put in a larger one. Yeah, and that's the idea to have it here and charge it from here because here we have the central unit and we can even secure it. You can see that here. Uh, the only thing is you have to make sure that it fits like the charging port is on the right location. So it's a little bit difficult when your charging port is here or here or here. The best is probably when your charging ports are on the top. Some of the power banks have it from the side, that could be a problem. So make sure when you buy a new power bank, same time, uh, that they have the charging ports on the top. So you can easily access them, they are, they are not blocked here. And let's go to the pocket where we have all this nice stuff here inside. Let's open that, hope you can see that's a little bit dark. I mean, we cannot open it a lot. There's one. Uh, cable only it's a micro USB cable so no uh, USB-C we have two carabiners which we can use like here and connect it uh, with your backpack for example so this thing here and then we get this 12 volt cable so the thing is there are no adapters I have already checked here I think there is nothing just is drying uh, pockets here but there's nothing like no adapters and 
12 volt there are a lot of different 12 volt adapters so if you are planning to charge like a power bank 12 volt power bank some of the power banks have 12 volts especially these ones which then provide 110 or 240 volts so usually they have to be charged with 12 volts and so this is actually good but the size can be a problem just make sure that you have the right adapters before you leave uh, to so you will be able to charge so for me it didn't work so i have to find first an adapter which fits for my 12 volt uh, port from a power bank so but anyway it's inside has a separate opening here so i'm not going to use that because i yeah i don't have an adapter so here that's the main unit hope you can see that's a little bit dark inside it's it's protected it has this flap here it's a little bit protected against rain that's good so it has two usb outlets and we can see there's uh, some description here so go a little bit closer here so you can read that and it says usb output voltage 5 volts of course usb and usb output current is 2.1 amps maximum dc output voltage uh, 12 volts with 2.3 amps yeah, here in the specs it was actually saying dual USB output uh, maximum power 17.2 uh, watts and current 3.6 amps so yeah when we see we have 2.1 same thing here 2.1 uh, maximum probably per outlet so we have one with 2.1 uh, one and the other one has uh, around 1.5 something like that it's a little bit strange I think the listing was even saying something different it's a little bit weird but we are actually talking here about 29 watts uh, solar panel and with USB we obviously can only get 17 watts so probably the uh, 12 volt does only provide the power for these 29 watts so we can see that here so it says 12 volts 2.3 amps yeah that makes 27.6 uh, watts which is close to the 29 so you need the 12 volts to get all the power out of this so but uh, yeah for me it would be enough at the moment uh, until i find the adapter it would be good to have uh, so much power I mean they are talking about uh, how much was it 17 watts or so and 17 watts would be uh, 3 amps so I hope we can charge at least I mean this would be capable to be charged with 3 amps so if we could uh, get here out of these 3 amps would be really nice so let's check on that yeah, so there's one thing which I noticed here with the outlet when we attach this usb cable i mean that's the original usb cable which they provide we'll plug it in here fully and you can see hope you can see that here that the zipper is pretty close to the end here i mean at least they provided a pretty short uh, shoe or mount here i mean or plug it's not really long but you have to really extremely bend it to be able to close the zipper here it's almost impossible i mean you can do that but it's it's really tough bending here and which is not good i mean cables do not really like this thing here i don't understand why they did that so it's pretty hard to do that and you never know if you push even more you can probably damage the usb cable and also to open again it's pretty hard it's even super hard so i really uh, do not recommend to do that so you probably have to buy another cable to use that here so maybe you find something like a 90 degrees angle cable you can see it's heavily bent this is not good so uh, i have seen one of my cables are shorter that's good so maybe uh, yeah i mean it has a shorter plug and i can easier bend but this the original cable is really not good i mean yeah you have to think about that everything here is inside i mean we have the cable we have uh, maybe the instructions we have the hooks here inside maybe you put other stuff inside 
and you want to prevent that uh, these things are falling out so you want and, and also you want to protect against the uh, rain and dirt so you want to keep the thing as much closed as possible would be really the best if you could really almost uh, fully close that and just have the cable here so I don't understand why they put it more down it probably had been possible to push down this uh, controller unit uh, deeper into that to have more space here for USB cable so this is for me like a huge design problem here I mean you can work around that it's possible somehow but it's not good I mean everything which you see here is really sturdy it's nicely made you see all the corners here all the seams all the buttons everything is really nice really rigid it's sturdy it's massive it's not just like a toy I mean when you look at it you really uh, realize that yeah okay it's 69 dollars but you get something uh, that's not just like a really cheap thing and they do something like so bad another problem is with the display here so when you put this thing into sun and you use it for charging it will display the voltage and the current i mean the amps so you would have to have it like this so the panels facing uh to towards the sun and then you see this uh, underneath it's almost impossible to see uh, i think this is a really bad solution it would have been really nice if they had placed this somewhere maybe i don't know maybe spared out a little bit of a panel and put it here because it's almost impossible to see that on the knees and have it directed pointed into the sun so you would have to lift it on top of your head and watch uh, from below and same time then holding the power bank and i mean i have done this but it, it's it's very uh, cumbersome it's really difficult to use it like that this is another thing so but i'm ready to use it now so i'm going uh, to attach this power bank connect it uh, with usb c which is supposed to be faster put it outside into direct sun and charge it uh, and then i'm going to check and use uh, and test with the usb meter to check how much charge we got so I'm back now. I had it outside in direct sun at noon, Florida, June, uh, almost 90 degrees angle from the sun. So and also even dry air, even mid of June. So it's the maximum almost which you get. Uh, not even in Arizona desert uh, you won't get a lot more it's really crazy it was super super hot so uh, that's also the thing here of course this thing gets hot and then usually panels the efficiency goes a little bit down but I have tried to put it up I mean lift it a little bit I mean I just put it together I, I had it open of course but what I had I had the power bank underneath so that was for two reasons actually I mean like this hope you can see that I put it in an upright position like this and put this on top of that of course uh, like fully open so and that makes sure and I uh, highly recommend to do that that makes sure first thing that the panels uh, do not get uh, super hot I mean so there's a little bit of fresh air uh, underneath which can cool the panels down so that helps to keep high efficiency and also of course we want to make sure that the power bank also is kept as cool as possible I mean we cannot keep it real cool but we just should avoid too much heat for the panels and especially for the power bank this is most important don't put this thing into direct sun you have to avoid any kind of direct sun so for me that was a good combination to have it in the upright position and then allow some air to flow underneath the panels so let's see how much uh, charge we got yeah so here we have the result i mean i can put this away you can see that hopefully you can read that 2500 something makes a little bit more i mean that was two hours on no at noon in full direct sun so per hour it makes a little bit more than 1200 
milliamps so that makes actually I mean I have the hourly thing so that means actually it has been charging with only 1.25 amps and definitely not with the 2.1 amps I have really no idea how this should be possible to get up to 2.1 amps for me it looks like it's just not possible I mean that was like a perfect absolutely perfect situation it doesn't get any better than that uh, I'll put everything uh, in, in perfect shape perfect angle towards the Sun had it a little bit uh, ventilated I mean not actively ventilated but let the air a little bit flow behind and uh, I had the power bank really cool I touched it and it was not hot so it has been in a perfect uh, temperature range and only charging with an average of 1.2 amps that's too low i have even let it run a couple of minutes longer maybe it was two hours and ten minutes or so and uh, yeah this is super disappointing so at the end uh, net uh, was 1.2 amps that's definitely not enough if we do the mass uh, with five volts that makes around six watts so here we are uh, paying a lot for uh, 29 watts panel and we get only 6 watts instead of 29 watts that's super super disappointing for me that's just not working I don't know if I'm going to send it back I mean it's my second panel where I've made a similar experience and uh, probably these kind of panels do not work maybe they have to do some compromise when they build it sturdy uh, so they cannot break uh, when you have them in a backpack or so and then they have to use uh, like cheaper panels or I don't know what they have to do uh, but it looks like it's just not go not going to work unfortunately I cannot use the 12 volts but I mean yeah uh, as long as they do not reach the 2.1 amps with the USB I mean I don't see these uh, 2.3 amps on tw 12 volt happening I think it's just not possible and uh, and for me it doesn't work I definitely cannot give a full recommendation on that maybe it will be hard to find uh, something better than that but it's really disappointing it will take forever uh, till you can charge like a, such a power bank fully with uh, 1.2 amps it will take the whole day uh, with 10,000 milliamps a full day with such a huge panel to charge it only once and then maybe you can charge your iPhone or Samsung Galaxy two times or have a little bit of light in the night so yeah it's uh, just not working I have seen panels I mean not flexible panels not for travel but I have one in my driveway sitting and then in the night uh, the light is illuminating my driveway and super powerful and it's shining the whole night and I'm pretty sure it's much more powerful than this one because there's so much power so so much light the whole night and it's not much larger just a little bit larger in total uh, yeah I don't see that here uh, looks really nice sturdy good build uh, good idea but at the end when the result is not uh, here I definitely cannot recommend uh, but if you want to check it out I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing into the description down there anyway and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions maybe you have already something which really works and has more power please write everything down into the feedback area down below so I'm always happy to talk about these things learn new stuff and so on and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time